thank you. So we had our warming up, as I said. Um, this is the Christian Science Rediscovered. We had a warming up in terms of we came to a moment of communication. And in fact, that's the end of the session. So thank you for being here and see you soon. This, this is the accomplishment. So that's, that's that. Great. Yeah, so it's really lovely to, to spend some moments in light to, to receive uh, gratitude, grace, to receive that for a moment by just sitting still and letting everything else fall apart. And it was the practice that we did, even though we didn't organize it. It was organized. It came, it came just like that. Uh, as a moment of communication, no words were necessary. Just, just like that. Recognition, boom, boom. Ha! Ah, here's the light. Here's the light. Here's the love. Here's the gratitude. Here's the grace. It's happening in you. Just stand still. Let go of any kind of idea. <sighs> Release it. Breathe. Laugh. Cry. Whatever. Get it out. Release it. You don't need any of your concerns or any of your ideas about yourself, any of your, whether they are great ideas or wonderful ideas or limiting ideas or which they are anyway. Uh, you don't need any of them. Concerns, no, you don't need them either. So here we are, and this is Christian Science rediscovered as your experience. What do you need for it? Release, release the whole thing, the whole story of you. The whole story of your identity, the whole story of your past, the whole story of a future, a fearful future, or a wonderful future, or a miserable future. All of that can be released in this instant. And suddenly there's, there's the space in your awareness. And you become aware that I am is here, is me, is in me. It manifests itself because it's always manifesting itself in every moment. So here I am in silence and in, say, stepping back out of my ideas about how anything should look. I, I immediately enter my temple and see my, my altar is clean, is undefiled, is completely beautiful, sparkling white, and the light is shining right on it. So I the only thing I do is enter in and go on my knees. And uh, yeah, see, you can feel that. It's like you you actually come sitting on your knees and, and just being still and listen and, and receiving that. Because that's the only thing that happens. You receive, it's, it's given. It's, it's given. You don't need to do anything for it. You're ready for it. You're, you didn't have to earn that. Now it is the only thing that's real about you. So this is a, a healing procedure, Christian science healing treatment. A new style, you could say, because we don't need all kinds of ideas about bodies or all kinds of ideas about anything. No, this is just the light that we receive. The light and the joy, the happiness, the clarity, the grace, the connectedness, the fulfillment. It's all given in this instant. And you either receive it now or you, or you don't receive it. So this is the best moment to let that come to you. And everything is ready. It's just for you to get on your knees, be still and listen. Then you realize something. You realize your love for God. And your love for your Father is without limit. Just vice versa, it's the same story. Like the love of God for you is without any kind of limit. And this is your certainty, this is your assurance. Your love for your brother is without limit. Without any kind of limit. You, you wouldn't know how much you love him. No matter who it appears to be. Now this is the meditation that we're going to do. This is the meditation that's 
It's it's one of the prayer lessons, but it's so great because it brings us down exactly to that spot. I love my father and I love his son as well. It's like I love his son with all of my heart. He's my neighbor. I love my neighbor as myself. I love God with all of my heart, all of my soul and all of my mind, heart. You know. I love your son. My gratitude permits my love to be accepted without fear. And thus am I restored to my reality at last. All that intruded on my holy sight forgiveness takes away. And I draw near the end of senseless journeys, mad careers and artificial values. I accept instead what God establishes as mine. Sure that in that alone I will be saved. Meet my love. Father, I come to you today because I would not follow any way but yours. You are beside me, certain is your way, and I am grateful for your holy gifts of certain sanctuary and escape from everything that would obscure my love for God, my Father, and His Holy Son. Tu te permets que mon amour soit accepté sans peur. ma réalité. Tout ce qui faisait intrusion dans ma sainte vue, le pardon l'enlève. Et je m'approche de la fin des voyages insensés, des folles carrières et des valeurs artificielles. J'accepte à leur place ce que Dieu établit comme mien sûr qu'en cela seul je serai sauvé, sûr de passer à travers la peur pour rencontrer mon amour. Aujourd'hui, parce que je ne voudrais pas suivre d'autres voies que la tienne, certain et de l'évasion de tout ce qui obscurcirait mon amour pour Dieu, mon Père. So yes, thank you so much for joining in the meditation and stay in your light. You don't have to listen. You don't have to do anything. Stay in your light. This the recognition is where this is all about. You stay in the frequency, you could say, or stay in the connectedness. That's all that matters. My words are not going to do that. Your recognition of what you just experienced is going to do that. It's like, here's that light, here's that light. Oh, I feel that love for God, for Jesus, for my brother for myself yes i feel that love i i feel that and, and this is like um, recognizing my holiness and allowing myself to accept that now and this is um, quite something so it is great so just for that it's like stay in your light don't don't worry what i'm gonna say <laughs> And at the same time, of course, I'm, I cannot say shut up or I cannot stop talking because I, I have a story to tell. I have something to share. And today that has uh, everything to do with actually with simplicity, 
Like truth is simple, huh? the, the complexities of the ego. Now, uh, there, there came a, a poem to me. And this poem is, uh, is in fact a basis for um, looking at yourself in a different way and um, say, getting in touch with this real part of you that has everything to do with that. It's like whatever you do as a human being, you finally gonna stand still and you're finally going to listen. You're finally going to do all kinds of things. So there's a simplicity connected to that. It's like it would all stop at, the, at this point. And this point is then, that can be now, or it can be 20,000 years from now, or it can be, who knows. But <clears throat> there's a, the simplicity is that it comes down to, <laughs> there will be a moment, like it's an, it's an, um, it's a required course, eh? is what in the Course in Miracles is being said. Like it's a required course. You're going to come into your enlightenment. It's inevitable. So whether you decide that that can happen now or in 20,000 years after another, who knows how many uh, lifetime sequences, where you repeat the same story over and over again of the denial of your truth, or you do it now. And of course you say, like, yeah, I want to do it now. It's like, well, okay, great, wonderful. <laughs> um, I'm not doubting that at all. So you you don't have to convince me. So that's so lovely about this. Like you get, you get, literally you get back what it is that is happening in you. Now this we look at a bit this week, like, um, we were talking about the physical response to love, for instance. Uh, that is one thing. Uh, we looked at love expressed. It's like, you are the expression of love. If you recognize who you are, the holiness that is within you, extending itself, uh, if you recognize that and, and allow that to be expressed through you with, without your interference, literally, um, that is an absolute lovely occurrence to happen. Now the same with, with in fact, uh, allowing your body to be changed by this light, by this recognition, by this letting these new factors come into your system, literally new ideas coming into your system, this new frequency of love and of extension of uh, happiness, of grace, come into your system. Now, you see that uh, the Christian science rediscovered, it's like we, we don't stand still that much with matter, with the body, because in fact, uh, we use the body for communication, for receiving that light, you could say, and extending it. Huh? So I'm, I'm opening my mouth, I speak words, so you understand what I'm talking about. I mean, at least you can make a connection with the words that I'm expressing. It's maybe a better way of saying it. And um, so, see, that is being, uh, it is being used, it is being expressed. And the same, as we said, yeah, I want to make a connection with the last meeting that we had because uh, this is this is a whole story. Uh, so it's all interrelated what is being expressed. So here's the part then. You want to experience that light. The only way to do that is in fact to give it away, to let it flow through you, to step aside and let spirit use this vehicle, you could say, for the expression of the truth that you are. Just allowing that to happen, right? allowing these words to come to you, or this poetry to come to you, or these expressions that you come up with, or who knows what happens, you just don't know. Maybe suddenly you recognize that you really have to touch people in order to to establish this connection. People feel something different than they would otherwise feel in being touched by someone. And that can also be. So it's like there are numerous ways of expression. But one thing for sure is, is that it's going to set you free uh, from your concern about yourself, 
which was the cause of of the disease of the pain yeah it's your concern about yourself is really causing a lot of stress in your body so that breaks down and it is like unnecessary to to do it that way you understand that it's like it's that's logic and that's really the science behind this it's like like if you if you attack your body you could say with the ideas that you carry with you your concerns your who knows what of course that has an effect on your body and um, now the opposite then is uh, let these new this new frequency come into your system and see what that does with your cellular configuration for instance or with your um, uh, what that does with um, the way that uh, everything starts to flow from within to without you start to build a confidence uh, that is not your own it's completely given but always confirmed it is not in your way now it it takes any kind of concern from you to feel that certainty now this is this is really a bit like the start of this um, <clears throat> this is where the truth can be expressed through you in all simplicity the simplicity then that i want to introduce here too is that the i am the i am is total simplicity if you would look at it with your human ideas you would you yeah you must have like a formulation of i have to think about that i should do that and don't forget to do this and no 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 like lots of rules and rules and make it complicated and here that collapses completely what do i need to do for for the say uh, expression of i am i need to do nothing it's like no that is i i release everything that i think i need to do I release everything I think that I need to be. I I say set myself free from my own struggle in order to survive. And now spirit can come to me. Finally, there is space in my consciousness in order to express this. So, so this is like the total simplicity of I am. That is your soul. You could say that is your soul. This soul is radiating. It can never be exhausted. Your soul cannot be exhausted. It can be undiscovered in when your say when your mind is cluttered up with all kinds of concerns or ideas about yourself. But that's a matter of like doing a good house cleaning, huh? So um, yeah. So here, bring it back to some ingredients that I love to present today. I want to start with something and um, I made this little um, a short clip with some with some dance and I, I made a um, poem like I said I made a poem and it is um, in fact in relationship with the video but in a different way so the and of course the music that i composed with it is is also in relationship so they with the three of <laughs> the three of them uh, put together gives you an uh, an interesting idea and this is the like don't misunderstand it um, the, so the music is certainly like a total dramatic expression and you could say of of an struggling human trying to come to a higher idea about itself which which maybe it succeeds maybe not so it's like that kind of drama is, is in that story and I, I yeah that happened so with the music composing it is like well that is being expressed I'm not determining the outcome it is just that this is it suddenly I discovered this is it this is how that has to sound and uh, then I feel it's complete now when I listen to it afterwards I think like wow that's so dramatic I can't believe it wonderful uh, very clear in its expression now I come back to the video 
suddenly I have, I have my system like Canva, I use Canva, not that that really matters, but it's like it comes with a lot of videos. Who knows who's on it? No idea. Who knows who filmed it or who did anything with it? No, they're freely available within that system that I use. So I use them. Now, here I found a dance sequence, probably five or six different clips put together with the same guy in this sense and in the same space. It looks very much like L. Age, I don't know. Um, but this this dancer he this dancer has given it everything he has trained and he has tried and tried and tried he put so much energy in his in his dance education he did whatever he could to become a dancer to become something he tries to express himself he tries to do all kinds of things now I'm using this more as as an art expression, um, as the struggle, in fact, of the human being to to become something. Like wow, that is so much work. Look at that. It's like, uh, and this dramatic music supports that completely. So maybe I started with the poem, uh, reading that to you. Revealed is the title, Revealed. Man's movements in time ultimately will result in a standstill. In this moment of realization, he discovers presence here. Man's movements in space ultimately will result in timelessness. In this moment of realization, he discovers presence now. Man's movements in timelessness is the expression of his freedom. No matter where he appears in time, no matter when he appears in space. I'll read it again. Man's movements in time ultimately will result in a standstill. In this moment of realization, he discovers presence here. Man's movements in space ultimately will result in timelessness. In this moment of realization, he discovers presence now. Man's movements in timelessness is the expression of his freedom. No matter where he appears in time and no matter when he appears in space. Um, so so the, this is really like Christian science eh, to, the, to the core, you could say, because it deals with time and space and in fact with the, um, the dissolving of it into timelessness, into um, this coming to this one omega point or to this one spot you could say where where the change can occur where the light comes in where you are set free of it so first it deals with time then it deals with space coming to timelessness then being in this timelessness now man it doesn't matter where you are or what you are yeah what you are doing in fact it's like you are being used no matter what, however it looks. Your concern about that has gone because there's no self that will restrict it or limit it in any kind of way. No, it, it only wants the free expression, just like we saw in the, in the first prayer that we did, like the miracle prayer. It's like you only want that to be expressed through you. You set aside your your concerns, wishes and desires and you set it aside with in full confidence that what is being given is is like the alternative with a capital A. It, it will be the way to fulfillment and completedness, wholeness, enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. Now this uh, this is then, like I said, the key. So you come to a standstill, that is, that is the key. One way or another, 
And this is about you, of course. Like one way or another, you took time to stand still and actually start to listen. That's where something occurred. Now, the rest, in fact, will take care of itself. It was just up to, up to you to decide to stand still. Now, this you can do uh, repeatedly, of course, but it's more like you you initiated that in yourself by standing still. You invited something else in. Now, this is, in fact, a returning procedure because you're going to do that more and more and more. And seeing that none of your ideas are actually necessary uh, to come to fulfillment. And what else is there? Like in wholeness, in recognition of uh, creation. What do you think you have to add with your ideas about things when you are already everything? That's also a very simplistic expression, but really true. You know, it's really true. So what else would you want to add to something which is you that is already complete what do you have to add to that nothing of course so the answer is easy okay so now we're going to look then at uh, and listen to the dramatic episode of um, a human expression of um, in fact being in time uh, in a certain space and say desiring for freedom for inner freedom there's a huge request for inner freedom you can see that in every shot so i love that and this is purely symbolic i have nothing specifically against anything or no judgment at all now it's just you see this happening now this is a beautiful example of that that i love to use
Um, so this was the the video that I was talking about. Now the great thing, oh yeah, I discovered it is in Lisboa, and it's in the museum in front of the Arts Museum in in Portugal. Um, so it was not LA, but it's, it's definitely a sunny area. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to say more about that because it speaks for itself. And um, I, I just love the guy that he's doing this and being this expression for me in this sense. Of course, I can take a whole different look at it too. Absolutely. But I, I love it to see it this way in this expression of humanness. And that's why I thought it was it was a beautiful uh, example of that. Uh, some real simple, you could say, I am expressions or even lessons. I am simplicity. Huh? So here's from chapter 13 from A Course in Miracles. I, I use A Course in Miracles here a lot because of, um, for instance, the word simplicity will not be given by Mary Baker. And uh, so that's why I don't use the book right now. And I wanted to come into expressions with simplicity. So here, the Holy Spirit seeing where you are, but knowing you are elsewhere, begins his lessons in simplicity with the fundamental teaching that truth is true and nothing else is true but truth is true and this is the hardest lesson you will ever learn and in the end the only one so this in other words this is a key expression truth is true it's very fundamental very simple truth is true it's like it's the hardest le lesson you will ever learn and in the end the only one you will learn truth is true truth is true so this is a great expression for contemplation to take time to sink in that and also seeing it as an an actual catalyst right? it's an actual catalyst in your day a little light background um, so it's like it's a catalyst it's like a key uh, it's, it's like a, th a thing and a modality that is going to speed up the process because you you're going to remember this truth is true nothing else is true it will come back to you like many 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 times Truth is true, nothing else is true. No matter what situation you're in, this always is the case. So that's what I mean with the catalyst. It's like a catalyst to come to release of your ideas. Uh, a catalyst that will bring you quicker to, say, asking for help or asking for a miracle. Because um, you know that you're going to end up here accepting that idea in its fullness and and that's what's so great about it so that's why i share it and so continuing with with another expression it is this if you would be a happy learner you must give everything that you have learned over to the holy spirit Okay, so the simplicity of this is that there is no exception. Everything you have ever learned, hand it over to the Holy Spirit. If you would be a happy learner, you must give everything that you have learned over to the Holy Spirit to be unlearned for you. And then begin to learn the joyous lessons that come quickly on the firm foundation that truth is true for that is built for what is built there is true and built on truth the universe of learning will open up for you in all its gracious simplicity so if you would be a happy learner you must give up everything that you have learned you have to give everything over to the Holy Spirit to be unlearned for you. And then 
begin to learn the joyous lessons that come quickly on a firm foundation that truth is true. For what is built there is true and built on truth. The universe of learning will open up before you in all its gracious simplicity. Okay, so I'm going to say that's why the unlearning is necessary. You could say, like, otherwise you keep trying to fit it all in into your uh, your frame of reference. You try to put it all together. You knit something spiritual into the three-dimensional limitation of humanity and think that you need to heal a body in order to be happy or something like this. You know, you make strange um, connections in your split-mindedness. And that's why it is like, no, 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 you give everything over to the Holy Spirit. You don't leave one idea behind. No, you hand everything over so that your foundation is truth. Otherwise, it would still be built on a lie. And this is a real, as a palpable, you could say palpable individual experience where you see that that is the case. You literally gave it all over. Otherwise, it nothing can be built on it. Otherwise, you would be like in the Bible it says, like you build on sand or you build on um, what was the other one? Uh, sand, so rocks maybe, but not on stone. You want to build on stone. The foundation needs to be good. It needs to be clear, good, and not made by you because the thing that you have done is make a deal with yourself in order to come to some kind of truth. But that's not what truth is. Like truth is true. And it doesn't have an opposite. And that makes it so simple and so like the hardest lesson to learn as we as we heard. The universe of learning will open up before you in all its gracious simplicity. The universe Oh, yeah, here's the sentence again. The universe of learning will open up before you in all its gracious simplicity. With truth, with truth before you, you will not look back. The happy learner meets the conditions of learning here, as he also meets the conditions of knowledge in the kingdom. See, the happy learner meets the conditions of learning here. And he also meets the conditions of knowledge in the kingdom. That goes hand in hand. Okay, we come to that. Um, so this is talking about the right learning conditions. Like the right learning conditions uh, are these conditions that actually help you to learn something. So if you want to, if you have your arms full with your ideas, there's no foundation to put any new idea. So that's why this needs to go. And of course you know this, but it's so good to remember again. It's like, oh yeah, wait a minute, I got to release this. I got to let this go in order to for me to receive, like to come into good learning conditions so that the universe of learning can open up. And, and that will, in fact, give me everything really quick because now it's clear, now it's clean, now it can be received, it has a good foundation. So that is so good. This is also the parable of uh, the seeds that are sown in good earth, you could say. In good earth or between other plants or between the wild plants and just go to waste, in fact. It's like, no, no, this needs to be put in good earth. You have to prepare this earth. And this pr to prepare this earth is really literally like releasing your ideas about what everything is and what it is for. In fact, it is you allowing yourself to be born again into an I'd say, ultimate simplicity of receptivity, more than determination or something like this. And this is this you could see as a prayer, as an as a yeah declaration almost. What I experience. Oh yeah, you say. Therefore, to yourself, gently, but with the full conviction born of the love of God and of His Son that we were just practicing in the prayer, say therefore to yourself, gently, with the conviction born of the love of God and of His Son, what I experience, 
I will make manifest. If I am guiltless, I have nothing to fear. I, if I am guiltless, I have nothing to fear. I choose to testify to my acceptance of the atonement, not for its rejection. So I choose to testify to my acceptance of the atonement, of the undoing in fact also, it's like let the unlearning process taking place in me, that's the atonement, not for its rejection. I would accept my guiltlessness by making it manifest and sharing it. Let me bring peace to God's Son from His Father. See, this, this all brings it together. It's like I would accept my guiltlessness by making it manifest and sharing it. And you could say, like, what is this guiltlessness then? The guiltlessness you could see as uh, recognizing and experiencing that what we're, yeah, what we're doing here. Experiencing the light, experiencing grace, experiencing your holiness recognizing your holiness and the holiness of your brother of course um, recognizing who, who is the one that is holding your hand in this process and where does my confidence come from like that is going to be given in my guiltlessness there's nothing there's no reason for me to hide any longer i can be fully open in in expression I don't have to hold back in any kind of way in that sense. Like my guiltlessness is guaranteed by my, uh, if I recognize the truth of me, that is a given. My, my uh, say guiltlessness becomes obvious uh, because there's nothing that, uh, yeah, that works against it. There's no proof anymore that I held against myself to prove I'm not, uh, that I am guilty. Like all this proof has disappeared by you releasing your past, by you releasing your ideas about yourself. So it's literally you stand with open hands, with no ideas about yourself or how anything should look, but just in, uh, say, full anticipation and open, open mind to receive what is being given. So that's what we practice uh, in, in all kinds of ways. And let me check time. Yeah, I thought so. So um, this comes to expression in you and in, in, in your way, which is also very beautiful to see that. And no matter which phase you could say of the, of the process you are, it really doesn't matter. So, so it's like suddenly you come to this decision you come to the place where you can stand still and allow the change to occur. And so let's, we're going to share this a little bit like in the non-public part. We have like 30 minutes left to, to take a really good look at that, at the expressions that are given. Or you coming with your expression of simplicity. If you watch this on YouTube, for instance, and you have an expression of simplicity that you like to share, please do so. Why not? So you can put it in the comments. Eh? That's how we do that. <laughs> or you can send it by email. It's always good to thank you. Uh, so we're, we're continuing with the non-public part.